Hey there, Cycle Storm fans. It is Brian to Cook, and we are playing my favorite Popper Storm deck. Last week, I uploaded two videos the first being Zubera Storm, and then the second being the Weather of the Storm Marauding Blight Priest build your own grape shot deck today we're playing in my opinion the most competitive storm deck left in popper it is super powerful you get a super ritual with songs of the damned which is a defining feature of this deck along with reaping the graves to create card advantage with all of our cycling creatures like dranith healer or the card that we use to win the game dranith stinger that is built into our engine by having cycling so this deck is super sweet super powerful and it's my favorite deck you might have seen me over at Thraben University last week as well. Phil published an article on, or published an article, published a video with me in it on Friday where we were trying out a list that I was working on pre Galvanic Relay ban that didn't have any green in it. Instead, we were just pure Grixis. Well, the green is back. I found that even though I was trying to get away with not playing life gain for the burn matchup, we just ended up needing it. And one of the nice things about playing green is we also get to Center's Deliverance which is just a really easy card to play to blow up uh, artifacts and a bunch of other stuff. So I think the five color build that we're playing today is likely worth it. Um, and if you haven't watched any videos in a while, I am back to playing Striped Riverwinder over something like Architects of Will to help with our Exhume Reanimator package. Most recently, I was playing a list with four Riverwinders in the sideboard along with four total copies of Exhume. We're down to three Exhume, two Riverwinder. I found that I was going too hard in the Reanimator sub-theme and I was losing because of it. I was overboarding into Reanimator, and then I was getting chump blocked out of the game against decks like Fairies. What would happen is they would put a ninja into play and then just start playing blockers, and I could never get ahead. So looking to avoid that, and instead, I wanna keep that game plan, but I want it to be secondary. I don't wanna to go too hard into it, and instead, we're just gonna keep on doing this game plan. Uh, but I think that's what I have for the deck tech today. If you have any questions or comments, whatever, put those down below. I do my best to answer all of those. But for now, it's a Friday night. I just want to relax and play my favorite Popper Storm deck. I love this format and I love this deck. So we're going to play this, have a good time, and uh, hopefully we crush. I'll see you in match number one. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for seven tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us. Just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some magic. All right, welcome to match number one. Here we've opened up a hand without any land, so we have to ship this. Okay, we can keep this. So let's just bottom this Blood Celebrant. We don't really need that. Okay, match number one underway. Red, white, draw. 
songs is a great pickup here but we're just going to start this uh league off by grabbing a mount or not a mountain a swamp we don't have mountains in our main deck who am i kidding all right pass the turn the inspector okay draw decent i'm just going to be lazy and cycle in my main phase Okay, so what we're looking for at this point is a Reaping the Graves. We have a lot of mana, we have some Cyclers, so ideally we chain some Cyclers together into Reaping. That would be ideal. All right, going to 19, draw. Cycle the Stinger. Cycle the Baron more. Scob not going to do it here. Uh, not to mention we only have three creatures, so we do need some more Cyclers. At the moment, we're taking three. Lightning Bolt, okay. So we're gonna take four from the attack step plus the Lightning Bolt, so seven total. And another Lightning Bolt. So they're getting in for five and we're falling down to eight already. Draw. Um, I mean, I could just throw the Scob in front as a blocker. I don't hate that. Cause I don't think cycling actually does a whole lot. I mean, it's a 3-3 body. We might be able to trade with Seeker of the way. Synthesizer, you got it. Mountain, so they found land number three. Two red for a golden egg. So the Seeker of the way is now a 4-4. Four, four. So if I don't block the Seeker when it attacks, I am dead to Galvanic Blast. So I just have to block here. Draw. All right, we're going to five. Cycle. Come on, Doc. Give me a Reaping the Grave. Cycle. We're not deterministically dead, but there's a pretty good chance that we're dead here. Glint Talk. Okay. Picking up the Synthesizer. Synthesizer again, so that brings it up to four. They just need one more spell. Planes. So if they have a two mana spell, we're dead. Or a one mana spell. They have played the planes. All right, so am I going to one? It looks like I am. Draw step. So you're saying there's a chance. Dark Ritual. Why slow roll me? Uh, <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Uh, some people. Uh, sure, you got me. I don't know. All right, so we're going to game two. You might be thinking your opponent had a lot of burn. Maybe you want to bring in Gnaw to the Bone, which is a fair thing, but I don't think the matchup is really about that. Instead, we're going to board out these Exhumes, and we're going to bring in Dissenter's Deliverance just to make sure we don't lose to any Graveyard Hate. And then probably just board out the Striped River Winders and call it a day. Okay, game number two. This seems fine. We'll keep this. Opponent taking a mulligan to five. Okay, so we're just going to play the Baron Warren Pass here. What I found is that some of these players will mulligan very aggressively to their relic or hate piece whatever and i guess i didn't board in flaring pain which is a card i probably should have cited in here i just realized uh i also was talking through my upkeep so i didn't cycle like i should have but uh so they'll dig really aggressively for the relic or whatever so having access to something like dissenters deliverance to just shut it down early is super effective synthesizer okay I was studying decklist recently and I noticed that these decks don't even play um, prismatic strands for the most part, but I still think like it's almost free to board in the flaring pain just in case. Sure. Cleansing wildfire. All right, so we're going to cycle the ash barons here. I think we just grabbed the forest. Draw. 
All right, pass the turn. You might be thinking, like, what about accelerating into Horror of the Broken Lands? I don't think that's actually a wise play. I think you do want to just do your whole combo game plan. It sucks that we just didn't draw our action spell in game one, but you can't let that bother you. It's just best to stick to our primary game plan rather than, like, trying to get cute. Like, their deck has answers to Horror of the Broken Lands. They have Gap Blast, some list play, um, I believe it's called Into the Journey. So you don't want to just lose to cards that you know otherwise wouldn't care about. Pyroblast being the reveal to Synthesizer. Lindhawk again. Sure. Ecker Wellspring. So much value off these uh, Synthesizer this game. All right, so let's cycle. Okay. Cycle the Vantasaur. Cycle Stinger. Upkeep draw. The hottest ploy. I think I'm just going to pass. Synthesizer's back. The golden egg, sure. Planes, still four cards in hand. We'll take four going down to 14. And another Glint Hawk, sure. Picking up the Golden Egg. So here we're going to cycle the Stinger. And then the Street Wraith and probably end up casting this Dehada's Ploy. Cycle down to 12 and then play the Ploy. I think we want to discard the Lotus Petal here. We basically just want to keep as many draw spells as possible. Songs. All right, uh, I'm going to cycle a healer. To centers. All right, I'm going to cycle this. See what I can draw off. I, I could have cycled the stinger. I'm just a little hesitant because if I hit an action spot, I want to keep my options open for going off. Cycle stinger. There we go. All right, dark ritual. Cabal Ritual, Play Songs, Repository Scob, Exploit It, Get Back the Songs, there we go, and Return Scob, Storm 7, and Return a lot here, Street Wraith, plus some other stuff, plenty of mana. So much mana that I'm not going to bother cycling with the uh, other copies on the stack. I'm just going to return everything and then see what we can do. All right, so we drew a blue source so we can replay the repository scob later. You might be thinking, why not play out a stinger now? Honestly, it just doesn't matter. Uh, so I don't want to close myself off from lines because I wanted to start doing chip damage for no reason. Like we will win the game eventually. We just need to not fizzle. And cutting yourself off colors is more likely to lead us to fizzling. All right, cycle this. Can we play a land? We cannot play a land. All right, cycle the healer. Why not cycle Baron more? We have one land in our, or one basic. Let's just pull it out of our deck so that way I don't draw it. All right, and then we'll play the repository scob once again, getting back these songs. All right, exploit it, return Songs of the Damned. All right, cast Songs, and then Reaping the Graves. Storm 11. Bring all of our friends back. What's happening here? Oh, I must have accidentally clicked on the uh, Dehada's Ploy cycle. All right. Another Street Wraith, we can go, go down to 9 life here. Keep the cycle train moving, I guess. Dark Ritual, welcome. Cycle this cycling elephant. I don't know why I call it an elephant. It's clearly a dinosaur. Uh, sorry, like when you're playing these decks and you're editing for YouTube, I have to keep on narrating all of my plays. So sometimes I'm just talking to fill the sound and I say ridiculous things. Uh, that was definitely one of those moments.
All right, cycle. Cabal ritual. All right, keep it going. We're down to 15 cards in the library. Dark ritual. Cycle. Really what we're looking for is one, another Songs of the Damned, which we just hit, and then two, the Blood Celebrant. Because once we have Blood Cel Celebrant, we can just play the four stingers, and then winning is cake. All right, down to 11 cards left in the library. Cycle the Dinosaur. There we go. I know words. Cycle the Horror. Dinosaur. Dark Ritual. And the Scob is coming back, so let's just songs here. Going up to 29 mana. Okay. Um, let's just play Reaping the Graves, I guess. Then we can start winning the game. It's possible that it might be correct to just cut the um, the flaring pain from the board, especially if red white isn't going to be playing prismatic strands. I do, I would want to put a little more thought into it and research deck list, but it might be correct to just not play that slot anymore because you can also just beat flaring pain the old fashioned way of like make them flash it back on your turn, then on their upkeep, kill them. Or if they have the flashback, you can respond to it and win the game that way. Okay, let's make some red mana here. The first copy of Stinger. All right, and then the second copy. And then I started blasting. Auto yield. Okay. Did I hit the blood celebrant? I did not. Cycle another horrors. There's got to be another one. Here's one. And that's the fourth. And there's my blood celebrant. So let's play that. Play another stinger. Cycle a healer. We, we can just respond to the draws. We don't need to draw any cards here. So what's happening is when you cycle, there becomes two triggers that go on the stack. There's one to draw a card and then one for the... Uh, the Dranith Stingers. We're just never resolving the draw trigger so that way we can cycle as much as we need to and then win the game. Alright, so that was game number two. And even though we needed to cycle five times with four cards left in the library, which would normally deck us because of the way that the triggers work, we, we never have to resolve the draw. So pretty cool for us, but now we're going to game number three on the draw against Red White. Boros. We didn't see any graveyard hate, but I still think we want the Dissenter's Deliverance just in case. And I'm choosing to not bring in Flaring Pain. I mean, it's a hand with uh, a bunch of cantrips in it and a land, so let's see how it goes. Opponent kept their seven this time. The Bridge. Draw. Play Baron more and pass the turn. So I actually like picking up the Street Wraith here because it gives us an extra look at finding land number two. That's a three bin inspector. Into the crossroads. I mentioned that this deck's pretty good against Burn due to having crossroads, but also uh, the Windscard, whatever it's called. Just like a bunch of lands that incidentally gain life. All right, let's cycle the Street Wraith. Uh, I think we play out a pedal here and just pass. You don't really want to play pedals because they are useful for storm count on your combo turn, but I don't think we're at the point in the game where I just want to throw away creatures into the graveyard quite yet. Taking one from the inspector down to 17. Seeker of the way. Four cards left in our opponent's hand. There's land number two. I'm just going to be lazy and cycle now. Dark Ritual. Okay, so we're drawing spells. I like that. The Golden Egg. And I'm just going to resolve. Uh, or auto yield to these because I don't want to have to click on them multiple times. 
the golden egg resolves and I'm just gonna auto yield to this and the windscarred crag that is the name of the land look at that they've accidentally gained five life this game and they have seeker like this deck just has to be so good against burn we're gonna take four down to 13 oh is this a last second lightning bolt yeah blast so one two three it's for the full four we're taking five down to eight we could be dead draw another alternative here is to just play the dranith healer and pass and then if we need to we can cycle and gain a bunch of life but if they have another burn spell it's going to get pointed at the healer I don't know. I think that this is probably fine. Let's just pass the turn. Synthesizer. Mountain, okay. Three cards left in our opponent's hand. Core Skyfisher. Picking up the, the Synthesizer, I imagine. A Golden Egg, so they can play Egg here. And they're going to so they've played a land and now they're tapped out so the most we can take here is five so i don't have to worry about death we can just uh i guess they're why would you attack with the inspector all right so i'll take four and then we get to cycle a horror going up to five opponents at 33 with four cards in hand Land's okay, but we need a lot to go right here. Um, I'm wondering what I should do. I think I'm just going to pass. Synthesizer. Triggers. Mountain. They still have four cards in hand. Golden Egg. And another synthesizer. That is a very big seeker of the way. Glint Hawk. So now they can play Hawk picking up a synthesizer and they get another trigger. All right. So here we have to at least do something. So I'm going to start off by cycling. All right. Um, I probably want to block. So let's block. And then before damage, we can cycle a little bit. So let's cycle the stinger. And actually, before that resolves, let's cycle the ash barons. The thinner deck, just a hair. Uh, let's grab forest just in case I draw one of those to centers. And then we draw up the stinger. There's the dissenters, but I'd rather draw some cards with text on it. So now we're at six life, and we want to find Reaping the Graves primarily, and then Songs of the Damned. Glint Hawk picking up Synthesizer. Picked up Golden Egg. Okay, so they're probably holding open a Pyroblast, actually. Draw. Let's cycle the Deliverance. Well, it's now or never, so I might as well cast Dark Ritual. Cycle the healer. All right, cycle healer. Like I said, they're likely holding open Pyroblast, so I don't know how good this Dihadis play actually is. Cycle Stinger. Repository Scob gets nothing, so I uh, don't love that. Pretty sure I can't play this, that is correct. All right, Dark Ritual, and then let's try to ploy. I think this is actually just going to be Pyroblasted. It resolves. So we hit the Songs of the Damned. All right, Discard, Ash Barons, I suppose. So next turn, they have a guaranteed six damage coming in. Uh, I'm going to cycle the Street Wraith and see if we can spike. So if they don't have a Pyroblast in hand, I have Teachings. 
The question is, were they sitting on Pyroblast and just not countering this Dihadas ploy? I'm going to feel so dumb when... I, I'm going to say when they counter, because I have a feeling these teachings will be countered. All right, let's play teachings. They're resolved. All right, let's grab songs. We want to increase our storm count, plus it makes a little bit of extra mana. All right, teachings. Flash it back. So assuming that this resolves, we'll have Reaping the Graves with 11 mana floating. Target Stinger. Okay. So we do have two Street Wraiths in here, and cycling a pair of Street Wraith brings me down to five life, which is just enough to not die to Galvanic Blast. All right, so cycle down to seven, down to five, and I'm going to try to not cycle that Street Wraith, at least for now. Cabal Ritual. Cycle the Horror. Ash Barons. Cycle Horror. Songs is nice. Keep the, you know, we got to keep drawing. We don't have it yet. Cycle Stinger. Reaping is good. Let's cycle the Barrymore now, I guess. The center is a little bit awkward here. All right, cycle Drain Stinger. Cycle the Healer. We need colored mana. So something like a Blood Celebrant or a Lotus Petal would be really nice. The second Scob. Cycle Healer. There's a Lotus Petal. Alright, let's cycle this Healer. Dark Ritual. Nine minutes left on clock. We have plenty of time. No need to rush this. I'm going to jumpstart this the hottest ploy and discard repository scob we can discard a land here and now we're at 26 life i'm free to cycle the street wraith or the broken lands down to two mana floating so i know that this is a crazy thought but you have to think about what are the cards that could possibly be in my opponent's deck that i could lose to so you could cycle one more creature and then songs of the damned and get one extra mana or you can just cast Songs of the Dam and accept that the difference between 13 and 14 is pretty small, which is what I think the correct play is here. Because what if I got mana tithed? How stupid would I feel? And I guess that it actually made more mana and the Songs was just delayed on how much. So I just don't think it's worth possibly losing to something silly like a mana tithe. All right, so we're going to keep cycling. Cabal Ritual. We've played our land, so that doesn't do anything. And now we're reaping the graves and bring... The entire club back. 17 creatures. All but one sad dinosaur. We had to leave one back. That's a little bump. Like, that's kind of sad that, like, this dinosaur can't join its friends. Ah, oh, what a tragic story. Okay. 12 cards left. We have to find our blood celebrant, our bloody little friend. Kind of deranged if you think about it, but we like the celebrant. It makes us happy. Okay. Have I found it yet? Nope. Did pick up a Cabal Ritual, though. 14 mana floating. Not quite yet. Let's cycle. Cycle. Another Lotus Petal. What's up, Songs? All right, four cards left in Library. All right, two cards left. This brings us down to one, and there's the Celebrant. All right, so I'm going to do a quick turn off all auto yields just in case I mess up. Songs of the Damned. Play the Celebrant, and now it's just party time. So we're going to add some red mana here. Stinger. God, I love this deck. This deck is so much fun to play. Stinger. You think I care about a lightning bolt? 
I can't help but think of like uh, the line from The Dark Knight when uh, like the Joker's talking to the mobsters and he's like, you and your little friends are dead uh, because that's what our opponent is right now. Uh, they are effing dead. All right, so we're going to Blood Celebrant and exploit. We have six minutes to win this all the time in the world. Return Songs of the Damned. Okay. Blood Celebrant. Sacrifice it. Return Songs of the Damned. Okay, so now we get to do the fun stuff. We're going to cycle. We're not going to let any of the draw triggers resolve. Okay, cycle this. We're going to move this stack right over here. Just keep all the draw triggers there. All right, so now we're down to a single black mana. I'm going to cast the first songs. And then cycle this. And now we've d used all of the creatures in our hand, some of the songs again, and now we reaping the graves. Storm 31 and bring back all of our creatures. Our opponent is probably sitting there hoping that we'll time out, but it's just not going to happen. They are D-E-D. -D. Okay. Return all of our creatures. Look at that. Our stack is so deep that you can't even see the draw triggers. Well, now you can, but it was so deep that you couldn't previously. All right. And actually, I'm going to leave myself a little bit of a buffer. I'm going to leave those reapings there, because why not? Cycle. Okay. So this is one of the things that I was talking about previously, where... Uh, Weather the Storm doesn't matter. So you might be thinking your opponent only had 36 life. How could you say Weather the Storm doesn't matter? Well, I could have done a, uh, this thing where... I'm sorry, I only have uh, four minutes left, so I'm going to cycle a little bit, but... Um, and that should do it. So I could have done this thing where I basically loop two repository scobs with Reaping the Graves and uh, Songs of the Damned. And it just builds up a ton of storm and mana without returning any other creatures. And then eventually, uh, I have so much mana in my mana pool that we can start getting back double reaping the graves. And then from there, we start cycling. And you can, the most I've personally done is in the 90s, but you could actually do more. Uh, it's just whether the storm doesn't really matter that much, I guess, is the point that I'm trying to drive home here. So we had 26 floating mana. We have like 20 more cycling creatures in our hand. So actually I can just count here. Uh, we used nine out of the 20 cycling creatures left in our deck uh, post board. So I had 11 cycles with three stingers on the table, although I could have played a fourth earlier. So uh, we have 11 times three. So I could have done another 33 and then another reaping the graves for all of those creatures back once again. So we could have dealt a lot of damage there, but that's enough of me yakking uh, or yapping, yakking. I'm just, I don't know. I'm not even going to go into that. I'll see you in match number two. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. All right, we're back at it for match number two. Cycle, cycle, cycle. So here we have a hand where we need a black source, but it has literally everything else we could possibly want. I'm going to risk it. I think that the reward here is so high that it's worth, you know, not possibly hitting. So we're gonna play Ash Barons and just be lazy and cycle this stinger immediately. Ding, there's that black source we were looking for. Island, fairies here. So unfortunately, uh, this is not 
a swamp because we put could put the horror into play it's also interesting because now we know that they're not blue red because this is not a snow uh island we just have to pass here did i say red white i meant is it blue red so we're going to take one going to 19 unless they want a nijitsu and there it is the deep hours draw I think I'm going to Dark Ritual here, and I might as well exhume. Uh, let's cycle the Baron more, I suppose. Okay, pass the turn. So if they are on Mono Blue, they're going to have Snap. Bind the monster. All right, so this is going to die, unfortunately. Oh, no, it just taps. Okay. I thought it, I read it wrong. I must have read it wrong. I thought it said it dealt damage to itself, but it just taps for a single blue. So I think this was the worst possible outcome. At least if it was snapped, I could cycle it or destroy it. It goes to our graveyard. So buying the monster was just like the perfect answer here. Draw. Let's cycle healer. And then cycle or auto yield to that trigger, I mean. Not looking good. We have to pass the turn. Ninja getting in there. We're going to fall the 14. Island. Fairy Seer. I'm not feeling too confident this game based on how it's played out. I think that they've probably got us. All right. Draw. Another healer. Cycle. This is only the third creature to our graveyard. Cycle this. That's number four. All right, so the Lotus Petal is actually not bad because we might be able to get our opponent to counter something they shouldn't, like a Dark Ritual, and then try to create a window that way. So three damage coming in will fall to 11. Spire Golem, four mana open. So they do have two hard counters up. Draw, Ash Barons. Let's cycle that. I think I just get a Black Source. Pass the turn. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to possibly win this. We just don't have the resources. Like, I need these Songs of the Dam to be more effective if we're going to go for that sort of line. Now we're taking five down to six, so a single uh, one power would kill us next turn. So either uh, an end step flash and spell setter sprite could do it. A one mana creature here, mutagenic growth. These are all cards that Mono Blue could play. I should probably turn off my auto yields, but uh, they're going to clean up anyway. So they likely have a spell stutter based on uh, that information. Let's play Lotus Petal, I guess. Just pass the turn. All right, so no spell stutter. Do you have main deck mutagenic growth? Oh, they could have a ninja here for the fairy seer. I didn't even consider that. There it is. Um, let's see if we can resolve the Dehadis ploy. I mean, this is definitely going to be countered. Okay, and now we're off to game number two. That did not go well, but, you know, there's other opportunities here. So I'm definitely interested in Pyroblast. Those are cards we want. I like the Exhume and the Mirror Shell Crab. So we're up to 68 cards, which is quite a few. Uh, I do think that you can probably board out some of this stuff. So like the Repository Scott package could maybe go. Um, you could even board out Ploy. Ploy's not amazing against a deck like Fairies. And then you have to ask yourself, is like Blood Celebrant better than Lotus Petal in this matchup? I think I'd rather have Lotus Petal than Blood Celebrant. I've sort of switched back and forth on that recently. Um, so now we're down to 64 and we have to find four cards to cut. I think that 
teachings is actually sort of a liability in this matchup. It's just such a big like dispel or counter spell target. I don't love it. And then three more slots. So we are boarding in two mirror shell crabs. We could probably set out two creatures. I don't think I like the imposing Vantasaurs all that much. So those can get shaved. Uh, and then you can de decide between would you rather have a Lotus Petal or a Vantasaur? Tough call. I think I'd rather have a Vantasaur. In theory, you could also try siding down on a land, uh, but I don't think that's a great choice against the blue deck. Like, land drops are actually very, very helpful. This is a turn one horror of the Broken Lands. I don't know if we want to do that after how game one went, but we can also just like play horror on turn two without uh, using our dark rituals, which I think is probably just the best thing. Very miscreant, sure. I'm just going to cycle this now. Draw. All right. Horror of the Broken Lands. We didn't have to give up a dark ritual to do it. Very miscreant, so they'll get the cantrip off this first one. And they're getting in there. They are the aggressor. They decided, so we're going to fall the 19. Nijitsu. Draw. All right, so let's attack, see if they block. No blocks. All right, so let's see if we can do some damage. They're at 20. Can we do it? I'm going to cycle this healer. Baron more. So this would be 10 damage. I'm tempted. So we can go... I need to think through this. So we can go Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Cycle Vantasaur, Reaping the Graves. So if I draw another Ritual effect off of the Vantasaur, it plays out well. I think I'm just going to take the shot here. Cycle Vantasaur. This is a little bit of a greedy line. All right, Cycle Horror. So this is 14. We're three cyclers away. Dark Ritual. So now I have to ask the question, do we cycle the healer hoping to chain two more cyclers together, or do I just take the Reaping the Graves for three, cycling the Street Wraith, putting them to four, and then the rest of the game they have to be on chump block duty? I think we're supposed to just do the Reaping the Graves. I think when we board down to uh, 21 creatures with two of them being mirror shell crab, it's just too risky to ask to chain two cyclers. All right, so it's cycle street wraith. So this is going to be 16 damage. And there's the first one. So they'll go to four damage, but now I can play stinger next turn and then start cycling to deal damage. Snap. That's annoying. And now they get in for three. We go to 11. So they're looting with the Moon Circuit Hacker here. Fairy Seer down. Fairy Miscreant's back. It draws a card. And they're passing. Draw. I think we just grab the island here. Play it and pass on their end step will cycle a little bit. So this is four damage coming in. We're gonna fall to seven off this, so we don't have all the time in the world, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And uh with drawing the Ash Barons, we actually would have had lethal had I just taken the cycle healer into double black floating, it actually would have been exactly 20. So the math doesn't support it, but admittedly, I wasn't considering uh, the lands that cycle. We did have eight lands that cycled. Okay, so I'm going to cycle healer here. Reaping. Cycle. Dark Ritual is interesting. 
Cycle Healer. When it's at four, we're at seven. I think I'm just going to pass. Land number four, so now they have double hard counter up. And they're representing lethal next turn, so it's definitely a turn where we have to try to figure out how to win. Discards Island, six cards in hand. Okay, so we're going to cycle at least these horrors here, because our black man is going to be tied up next turn anyway. Let's cycle for the last basic, I guess. Cycle Horror. And then Cycle Stinger. Would love a Songs of the Damned. We're almost halfway through a deck and I haven't found one yet. There we go. Okay. Can we do it? Draw. Dark Ritual. So that resolved. Um... Wonder if I just play Stinger trying to beat out a counter spell here? Like you have to counter this, right? So they still have three open mana. That's a little annoying. Um Songs of the Damned. You could cycle the Riverwinder here, but this way I can have Mirashall Crab floating one. So I can pay for a force spike. That resolved. Wow. Okay, so a little bit dicey here because we boarded out a petal and we can't cast Stinger unless we find one of our other three petals in our deck. And if I, I guess there's no harm to going down to one unless they like boarded in gut shot for some reason. So I think I am going to return to Street Wraith here. Go to one. Cabal Ritual. That resolved. Alright, so that was a good exchange. Big zoom. So that can get a stinger. So I think I just return everything here because this could actually just be lethal. So they so we can exhume the stinger into play and then we can very easily cycle four times. Exhum was not on my mind. Sprite. Let's attempt to mirror shell crab the sprite. Okay. Stinger. And then cycle the striped river winder. Even if they have a hydro blast here, this should be lethal. And they do. But I don't think it's going to matter. Cycle stinger. Okay, cycle the Draneth Healer, cycle Baron Moor, and we won game two. So we are off to game number three now. I don't think I'd change anything. I would prefer to not have to put Horror of the Broken Lands into play, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'd really like it to be a Striped Riverwinder. There's a Riverwinder. Uh, I don't know if I love this hand, though. When it's taking a mulligan. Uh, it's, we have both Riverwinders, which is just so awkward. I think I'm going to keep it, though. Like, it is still land plus triple cantrip. Like, that's how you have to look at this hand. Like, yes, the Riverwinders aren't unlocked yet, but they are likely to be at some point. Island. Fairy Seer. Draw. Okay. Pass the turn. Fairy Seer gets in. We'll fall to 19 unless the Nijitsu here. And it is a ninja. How crazy. So they are plus one card. And they missed their land. Alright, so I'm going to try to capitalize here. And by capitalize, I mean try to hit my second land. Otherwise, we don't end up discarding. And I think it's just best to try to hit. And we found our land. I'm going to cycle a Riverwinder looking for Exhum. Um, let's just go grab our mountain here. Pass that turn. 
I think that was a pretty good use of Dark Ritual. Buried Seer, they're still looking for land two. Two cards on the bottom. So now they get to loot off the Moon Circuit Hacker. Discards Ninja of the Deep Hours, and they hit the land. Draw. Another Ash Barrens. Let's go grab a Swamp, I guess. Just past the turn. So we're taking three here down to 13. And I think that this is a game where we're off of the Striped Riverwinder plan. It's just not going to be good. So uh, we're just looking at pure combo. And another ninja down. So I think they're on the don't tap out for the rest of the game uh, plan, which is fine. Let's cycle this. Grab is welcome. And cycle a healer. All right, so we need to find Reaping the Graves and Songs of the Dam. Those are the two big cards we want. They have land three. I don't think, so like I could Pyroblast the Moon Circuit Hacker. I'm not convinced that's actually what this game is about, so I'm not going to do it. I think we're better off just still focusing our efforts on going bigger and going over their Moon Circuit Hacker because it's just a looting at this point. It's not actually plus cards. Discard Snap. This is going to be a good turn for us to cycle the Stripe Riverwinder and free up our blue mana for this Mirror Shell Crab. All right, there's the songs. We just need to find the Reaping the Graves now. This is going to bring us down to 33% of the way through our deck. Another songs. Please, Doc, give me Reaping the Graves, please. All right, let's cycle this. Come on. I'm just going to pass here. We have the crab up. I don't really need to cycle Vantasaur in my main phase. Land number four for the opponent. Okay, so we're going to take three down to seven. Time is running out. Very miscreant down. Opponent says I will never tap out again. All right, so let's cycle this. Uh, actually, I think I should do th this way. So that way, if I draw into a horror, I can cycle the horror off the swamp. This brings me to five. All right, I'm going to cycle it. Another songs. Okay. Uh, almost halfway, 35 cards. Baron more. Come on, Doc, please. Cycle. There we go. All right, so they have four mana open. So if I play songs and they spell stutter, um, I'm just trying to talk through this. So if I play songs, they spell stutter, I can pyroblast it, they hydroblast, and then I can play another songs. I think we try for it here. Dispel. That was not one I was considering. Um, I'm going to keep that on the stack. Hmm. Five cards. So if they have Counterspell plus Hydroblast here, it's going to hurt. And based on this, it looks like they do. Part of me thinks that I just let this go and then come back next turn. All right, I think that's going to be the play. And if they play a Spell Stutter here, I think we might want to consider using Mirror Shell Crab. Because Spell Stutter would be the fourth power, and then a Nijitsu creature would be power number five. Okay, so I'm going to Mirror Shell Crab. So I think that tells me that our opponent has an Ajitsu creature in hand. So we're going to take three here. And it's interesting that they played out the island before they got their looting trigger. And here it is. They have another Moon Circuit hacker. So we're going to go to one. Apparently they had a spare island. Sure. So we know that they have a spare fairy in their hand. 
the fairy doesn't increase their clock at all so i don't know if you're actually supposed to play that out and they do so we know that they only have counter spell plus a one mana counter so like a hydro blast for example or another dispel okay i think we might be able to do this that was good Bar ritual and this was not a mistake. I wanted to play Cabal Ritual first because if there's going to be a counter or a ritual that is countered, we'd prefer if it was Cabal Ritual and not Songs of the Damned. And they're casting Dispel. We're going to let that go. Songs. Really? Oh no. They actually do have the Force Spike. I think we just lost a four spike. We're gonna pay and get double spiked. Oh no, it resolved. Okay. Reaping the graves. Uh, Storm is six. So I don't want to return Street Wraiths because I can't cycle them. Only bring back creatures we can cycle. Okay, and I have 18 mana, so I'm just going to return everything for now. Cycle the horrors. Lotus Petal. So that means I can return, uh, or I can play Healer here and start gaining life so that way I can cycle Street Wraiths. I think that's something I'm interested in. And it can't be uh, blasted at the moment either. All right, so let's gain some life. Exhum, that's a good one. I think I'm gonna hang that back for a minute though. Uh, because it would just turn on their Hydro Blast that they likely have. And I want to, I want to exhume back Stinger, but I want to do it after I Reaping the Grave, so that way I can respond to the Hydro Blast over and over. Alright, so now we're at three. Lotus Petal, let's cycle the Stinger. We're not out of this yet. We have three copies of Songs down. We only have one left, and we boarded out Repository Scob. Okay, I like the Cabal Ritual draw. Lotus Petal. Probably should have played that out a little bit earlier. And then let's cycle Vantasaur. Up to five, auto yield here. Dark Ritual's good. All right, so I want to leave the Stinger. I think we can return everything. So this is Storm 12. Target everything other than the Stinger. Uh, actually, I'm going to return the Stinger too. We can just cycle it as the first creature. Okay, cycle. Up to 6. Exhum, going down to 11 mana. Okay, and now let's cycle. 27 cards left in the library. We get a land drop, which I forgot about. Cycle. Ooh, we can play another Stinger here. Cycle. I have a feeling that they have a Hydro Blast, so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to play another Stinger, because it feels like a little bit reckless. Like, it's just not a play we need to make. Okay, cycle. Dark Ritual. That, ooh, that was an F6. Um, I'm gonna get greedy. Let's play a Stinger. All right, so now we can cycle Street Wraith. Deal two. I thought for sure that they had a Hydro Blast in hand because when they played the Force Spike, I was thinking that they wanted me to Pyro Blast so that way they could Hydro Blast me, but that play doesn't make any sense. Uh, and here we've hit a, uh, a weird spot where I have to cycle Stinger into something else because we, I guess like Reaping would be my best hit because we don't have any colored mana to keep cycling. So I guess I got burned by playing my Swamp early. Cycle. It's just like a my own fault. Ah, damn. So I can cycle this for damage, but there's no land to get. 
and now our opponent can untap and do whatever they want. They said GG's, but then didn't concede. Ah. Uh, all right, so now we have to untap and hope that our stingers don't die. Um, I think I blocked the ninja. Like, I don't need the Dranith healer anymore. So they looted away an island. And another island. So we're going to take five. Three cards left in the opponent's hand. And they're just passing, which is a good sign for us. Draw. All right, cycle the river winder. Auto yield. And that should do it. Cycle river winder. Yeah, it was definitely like a, a mistake on my part last turn to uh, play the swamp for no reason. Like that was just a dumb play. I shouldn't have done that. And cycle the Vantasaur. Okay, we got it. How about that? This has been a long league. Both of the first matches have been 35 plus minutes non-edited. So we're only two rounds in, but we're 2-0. It's been a long one. Let's just see if I can win the next three, hopefully in a reasonable amount of time. Playing your favorite combo deck and paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot. Everyone's favorite storm wind condition. A galvanic relay exile indicator, four treasure tokens for strike it rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has slime time live. Eve progenitor ooze tokens with the power and toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then squirrels versus goblins, chatterstorm versus empty the warrens, the battle of the ages. You definitely need 20 squirrel tokens and 20 goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. All right, we're back for the third match on the play with Cycle Storm. This hand's great. Keep. I feel like I faced Exodor recently because I remember making a bad joke about their name being the Onslaught legendary creature and then them not playing blue. Uh, but I can't remember what exactly it was, and it looks like Jund. Draw. Let's just cycle the horror, see if we can hit land two off that. We cannot cycle Street Wraith. And pass the turn. I, I do feel like I remember them having a main deck Bajuka Bog, which I'm a little bit afraid about right now. Yeah, because they're on Jund. This is uh, Foretells, sure. So they're on like classic Jund. I'm just going to go get a land here. Island, pass. Don't really want to play super hard into Bajuka Bog. I mean, we're probably going to, I just don't want to. And there's the pack mate. This card's so good. I love it. All right, so let's cycle. Baron more draw. Let's just cycle the land. I think we just grab another swamp here. Pass. All right, still not Bajuka Bog. I am all for the not removing my graveyard from the game thing. Big fan. Down to 15. Another foretell. Okay. Cycle stinger. So many lands. Cycle. Let's grab. I don't know. Island, I guess. It doesn't matter. Draw. Just not playing into the bog, although I feel like bog at this point would actually be pretty backbreaking, and maybe I should have cycled the bear more last turn instead of the stinger. There's the pack mate. So it's interesting because they chose to hold open two mana rather than just hard casting the pack mate last turn, 
So they're definitely holding open like double bolt or something. And now we go to 12. And if that is the case, we're dead. Or like bolt gap blast. Let's cycle this uh, striped river winder. Ding. Cycle barren more. I like this. Cycle imposing vantasaur. Healer, welcome, welcome, welcome. And cycle healer. Draw. Perfect. Okay, so let's start on uh, casting a dark ritual and then we'll cycle off black mana. I want to keep my blue mana open. Even though they likely have double removal spell here, I still might want to try repository scob. Okay, so we picked up a Horror of the Broken Lands. Let's cast Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual. What is the wait for? You can you can have six for a little bit. You don't have to wait the entire time. Uh, let's cast Deploy here. Probably discard a Petal. Teachings. I just don't think we even need repository scob this game. Let's jump start. Discard the pedal. This increases storm count anyway, which I think is going to be fairly good for us. I believe we've played a land this turn. I have not. Um, but we can always play a land later. It doesn't need to be Ash Barons. I'm actually kind of surprised that off those four draws off the, uh, the hottest ploy that I didn't hit a single creature to cycle to increase our Songs of the Damned uh, effectiveness. Okay, so the Petal Resolve will play Songs. That resolves. So the question is, do I want a Teachings for another uh, Songs of the Damned here? Or do I want to risk not drawing? I think it's going to be fine. We'll have eight mana. I have one Street Wraith. Yeah, and I can always Teachings later if I, I, I don't hit. So this is going to be for eight. I don't want to return the River Winder. Because I can't actually cycle that uh, without sacrificing the pedal, and I don't really want to have to do that. So Okay, bring everyone back. Cycle Street Wraith. And there's another River Winder, lovely. Cycle Street Wraith. Vantasaur. Exhume. Cycle this Healer. Swamp. So there's our land drop for turn. Cycle. 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 So I can cast Teachings for. Uh, a songs right now. How much does songs make? 13. I think that's fine. Let's cast teachings. Grab a songs of the damned, cast it. Okay, cycle this. We still have two songs left in our deck with 20 cards. Cycle the healer. Horror of the Broken Lands, Horror of the Broken Lands, another Petal, Vantasaur, this is the fourth Street Wraith cycle, and we can cycle here, Scob, and then the Horror, so now we're down to six mana, cycle this, another Reaping, so I can teachings right now and go get one of the songs. That is an option. How much would it make? 18 mana. That seems worthwhile. Let's do that. We still have one songs left as well. All right. So add a black. Cast songs of the damned. Cycle this. And we hit the other repository scob. 
I think we're going to be fine here. So I'm going to let them play the removal spell. Ooh, they didn't kill it. Okay. So let's get back songs. Cast it. Exhume. Get back the repository scob. Exploit it. Get back songs. So much mana. 48 floating mana, no big deal. Okay. Now let's just bring everyone home. I think that's exactly all of our creatures. Let's find out. Okay, so cycle horror. Cycle again. We're just looking for the uh, the blood celebrant at this point. And there it is. So we can cast the blood celebrant and then just start winning the game. Red, red, red. I guess I shouldn't go, I shouldn't pay one more because if I pay one more, I am dead to double Galvanic Blast. Although I do feel like at one point this turn I was lower than that, but um, it doesn't matter. Sure, that can die. That's fine. I'm going to play another Stinger. Okay. It's fine. Let's just start cycling. Okay, cycle. And I drew another Stinger so we can play that. Easy peasy. Okay, so... Yeah, we just have to cycle seven more times. They might be thinking that they're going to get me on me decking myself, but that will not be the case. Uh, cycle the horror. All right, now we have one card left in the library. Cycle Baron Moor. Cycle Street Wraith. Cycle Wraith. And Cycle Wraith. Game number one goes to the good guys. So now we have to figure out how we want to board for the post board games. Um, these decks usually have Nile Spellbomb on the board, so I do want to Sunder's Deliverance in the forest. So we're bringing four cards here, and I think we can probably just take out uh, the Exhume package. I don't think that's going to be very effective. So I think we could probably leave the Scobs, but just do this basic board plan. You saw how they left open removal. They could have just double bolted our Scobs and chose not to, instead going after our Stingers, which honestly isn't that effective, but I got to win, so who cares? All right, game number two. We cannot keep that. Have to ship it. Mulligan. And another Mulligan. Going to five. Not ideal. Okay. Uh, it's technically a hand of Magic the Gathering cards. We'll bottom Scob and the Songs. I feel like Songs is like sort of a trap if you keep it this early because it's not going to be effective. Draw. Another repository scob to replace the one we put on the bottom of the library. Cleansing wildfire. Draw. I think we're just supposed to pass the turn. You might be thinking, Bryant, you can dark ritual out horror of the broken lands. They have at least four galvanic blast on top of things like cast down and a bunch of other stuff or this crimson, whatever it's called. Like, it's just not a good game plan. I think that's actually a pretty big trap. Cycle. Cycle. Okay, draw. Uh, I think we just grab a swamp here. And then pass the turn. We have two cyclers at the moment, which just isn't enough. So we want to cycle this Baron more into uh, more creatures. Well, that hurts. Um, let's cycle this. 
All right, so new game plan. We're just going to burn our hand and cycle and then get back creatures. Dark Ritual. So we want to hit a cycling creature off this stinger. That would be our best thing that we could do here. Um, okay. And then reaping the graves for our three creatures. I mean, not the best. Really would have liked to find a fourth creature in there. Okay, so these Reaping the Graves resolve. Now we let Duress resolve, and then we can cycle those three creatures. And they foretold a creature. Okay. Keep cycling. All right, so we're not out of it yet. We're just in a weird spot. Draw. I think I'm just going to play the Scob now, try to get back that Reaping. Are you going to Lightning Bolt it now? Maybe they learned their lesson from game one. Okay, it looks like they did. Pass the turn. So we're going to 10 here. Uh, I mean, our life total is dropping quickly. We're dead next turn to a, uh, whatever it's called, or that, uh, the Haste boarding party. So they put us in check. We just have to try to win here, which is pretty much asking for a miracle. All right, cycle. 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 All right, so if we spike a songs off this healer, there's a chance. Um, come on. Cycle. This is the last opportunity. No dice. All right, game three. Short and sweet, though. Just resubmit. Okay, game three, and we're on the play. A solo imposing Vantasaur. This hand feels like a trap to me. Uh, I just feel like mulliganing is not what I want to do. Like, this just feels so bad. Opponent deliberating on their seven cards. And they take a mulligan to six. Okay. Turn one, Baron Moore. That's the turn. In theory, you could just spend your entire hand and put an imposing Vantasaur onto the table. Huh? Huh? All right. I'm just going to cycle here. Uh, so give me some creatures, please. All right, so Cleansing Wildfire, now they get a black source. Draw. Cycle Horror. Cycle Street Wraith, we could in theory try here. Okay, um... Should I go? Like, they can't duress me. So, Petal, Petal, one would have to be for black, one would be for blue, that's five cards, Cabal Ritual. All right, this is really risky, but I'm going to go for it. Black, black, blue, that's Threshold for Cabal Ritual. Now we can Reaping the Graves. This is so risky. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. This is not a good idea. <laughs> All right, cycle. Ooh, that's a good one. Cycle. Okay. Don't love the deliverance here. Cycle. Cycle Baron Moore. Another reaping. That's interesting. All right, so songs. Let's play the repository scob. Exploit this. Get back, Songs of the Damned. 
cast songs for six, and then reaping the graves. So it's worth noting we're only going to have three mana floating post reaping the graves. Street Wreath, Street Wreath, Horror, Vantasaur. So cycle these, cycle. Um, cycle Horror, we need to hit at Rituals. That is not a ritual. Celebrant doesn't do it. Okay, so I think we're just returning everything here. Play the island, cycle Vantasaur. So technically, I could cast songs. I don't think it's a wise idea, though. I'm just going to play the Blood Celebrant and pass the turn. All right, two mana, what is this? Cleansing Wildfire. Land for turn. And Blood Soul Burnt Down. Vantasaur, I think we just cycle here. No need to try to go off. Okay, cycle. Pass the turn. Okay. So they're holding open a removal spell, I think. Could be a Pyroblast. Let's Songs of the Damned. Cycle Stinger. Okay, Cycle of Deliverance, I guess. Cabal Ritual is a good pickup. Teachings. Let's see if it's Pyroblast. Was not Pyroblast. Let's get songs, cast songs. So I could flashback teachings, but I think there, that would get the fourth copy of Songs in her deck, and then we have to play Repository Scob under the removal. So I'm going to leave that back. We can return Blood Celebrant here. Wraith, Wraith. Horror, Horror, I guess. I'm just going to return everything for now. Okay, so let's cycle here. I want to play the Scob, but I got to figure out um, what the plan with it is first, if I'm trying to get back songs or reaping the graves. And I played the Blood Celebrant first because I really want them to try to bolt it. Okay, the Ashburns doesn't do a whole lot here. It is a blue source for the Scob, but it's not that meaningful. All right, so I drew the uh, the Reaping, so now we really want more mana. Dark Ritual. Cycle Street Wraith. Cycle Stinger. Lotus Petal. 26 cards left. I go down to five. Cycle this to centers. All right, so I'm going to cycle the stinger. I think the plan here is that I'm going to end up teachings for the Songs of the Damned. Um, so that costs six and Songs makes ten. So it's only going to be plus three. And if I cast Ploy first, I'm just short of being able to flashback teaching. So I think that's a mistake. All right, so this gets Songs of the Damned. I would love it if they tried to blood or kill the Blood Celebrant here. Okay. Cast it for 10 mana. I'm going to add a blue. Cast Ploy. All right, Cycle Street Wraith. We're definitely running on fumes here. We've used all four copies of songs and I don't have any exhumes in my deck. So if I play Repository Scob, oh, I can I can just exploit the Blood Celebrant. I think that will work. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Is that I can then exploit the Blood Celebrant and roll a check. Okay, so we picked up a petal. I think that will work. 
I'll be honest, I am not a master of the exploit mechanic. Uh, so I guess we'll find out. I'm pretty sure I can still exploit the Blood Celebrant that way. I can't figure out why they're always pausing. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, so let's play the Scob. Oh, apparently I used to blue. I didn't mean to do that. Um, so does this exploit resolve? It does, wow. Okay, we'll get back songs. You waited all that time to do that? In fact, you just helped me. Sure. Uh, let's see how this ploy. Discard the Sash Barons. Discard the Dissenters. Songs of the Damned. And then we'll return our friends. Scob. And then Street Wraith. Street Wraith. Street Wraith. Okay. I didn't do a good job of seeing what I actually clicked on here, so there's a possibility that I missed some creatures, but we're not going to worry about it. Okay, we have 11 total mana. It's not infinite. I know there's a lot of games where we end up with 50 floating mana or whatever. This is not going to be a game where uh, we can be a little reckless. But I can play triple Stinger. So we're going to do that, and then we'll need seven cycles in order to win the game. I have triple Street Wraith, so I don't think it's going to be a huge concern. Uh, so we have three free cycles plus four mana. We should be able to make this work. Okay. Cycle. I believe my math checks out. I guess I can play another one here. I love when I have four stingers in play. It's just the best. Cycle. Cycle. Auto yield. And cycle. That should do it. This has been a very, very long league, but we're 3-0. So if all of my matches are this long and I happen to 5-0, I'll take it. So thanks for watching this far. I know it's been a very long one. Stick with me. There's two rounds left. Feeling good. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a card hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your card hoarder cart to make life simple for you. All right, we're back. Match four. Let's get it. No creatures? Ugh. We do have a Baron Moor and an Ash Barons to mana fix, but I don't know. I think we're probably supposed to be a little bit more disciplined. This is better. Keep bottom the exhum. Okay, island past the turn. Okay, Boros again. Cycle, dark ritual. We need a black source. Cycle the street wraith. Okay, cycle this dino. Pass. So we have three creatures in Graveyard. We could go like Lotus Petal, Dark Ritual, Horror, and that would be four. But I want to build up a thicker Graveyard before going for it. We can use Mystical Teachings to go get Reaping the Graves, but I want to make sure we don't fizzle. Interesting. So they're Jeskai Control. They are not Boros. Um, okay. I still think we just pass here. This is the, the wildfire control deck. Bridge. Okay, draw. That's what a swamp looks like. Cycle. That's the turn. Yep, that's seven. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. 
fire. Going straight to the dome, not even cantripping. All right, they just created a window. I think we're probably going to try to go for it here. The disrespect, just telling me that you don't care what I do. All right, Dark Ritual. Let's cycle the horror. Ooh, we did not hit. Cycle. Okay, so I think I want to cycle here so that way the songs make six. Exhum, not the best yet. All right, so I think this is going to be a game where we live on margins. Uh, it's going to be tough. Like a repository scob would really help. Teachings. Let's get Reaping the Graves. All right, so we're going to have six total mana. Let's see if we can find a repository scob. Okay, cycle Street Wraith. Dark Ritual. I like that. Cycle. 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 Okay, so now we just need to find more mana. Come on, Doc, be good to me. That's fine. Seven mana floating. Cycle. So this one's blank, and this one is a horror. So it's actually pretty interesting. I could teachings for the third uh, Songs of the Damned here, but it would only make one mana, so I don't think that's actually worth it. Let's cycle. Okay, let's cycle the Baron more. Now we're back at that point where I have to decide if I want to flashback the teachings. It's only making eight mana. It's not a lot. Or I could try to cycle the Baron more into repository scob, and then I think we just win the game. Uh, or something else, like in other songs. But we only have two songs left. Like, the problem with the teachings into songs, it only makes one mana. Like, it, it just doesn't feel like it's correct. I'm going to cycle the Baron more. Cycle Stinger. There we go. All right. So, let me just go through it again. Street rates first. Okay, nine floating mana. Let's return a couple. Go down to eight. Cycle. We only have one Songs of the Damned left. And there's a scab. That's really good. Not going to cycle that. Cycle this. I'm trying to figure out where this ends. Okay. So, I guess I can cycle one more. I'm like trying to play a little bit conservatively here. So, how many creatures are in the graveyard? Seven. So, I just don't want to lose. Or, we don't have that much mana. So, I'm going to play Scob now. Exploit it. I can get back songs. So this would technically make eight. And I can cycle one more creature, so that way this makes nine. But I think that's just best. And then, then I can exhume uh, the scob back to make even more mana later. Or get back Reaping the Graves, depending on what we need. Okay. Ball Ritual, that's good. Keep cycling. Let's cast the Cabal Rat. Cycle. 20 cards left. Another exhum was terrific. Cycle. Cycle. Okay. So we have a lot of Ash Barons. And now we can exhum, get back these scob. Exploit. Back songs. Cast the songs for a bunch of mana. 
Exhum. This is just black regrowth. Like, it's so good. Okay. Now we get back Reaping the Graves. Reaping the Graves, <laughs> returning the Scob. You can see why this is good, right? Like, it's just crazy. And now we return everyone. All right, everyone has been clicked now. We just return everyone back. We have 16 cards left in our library, 13 black mana. We do have a songs left, uh, but I don't think that's really what this game is about anymore. We're just going to cycle until we hit our blood celebrant and then uh, continue trying to win. All right, cycle. Reaping the Graves, cycle. Stinger, cycle. Cycle. All right, Street Wraith. I just don't want to accidentally kill myself. Down to four. Lotus Petal. Cycle some creatures. Why not? Dark Ritual. We might have two songs into Reaping the Graves one final time. Let's see how it goes, though. There's our Blood Celebrant. We do have one songs left, right? One, two, three. Yeah, I believe we have one left. Like, I don't think I'm making this up. Cycle. 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 Three cards left in library. There's a Cabal Ritual. Okay, cycle a stinger. Two cards left. Cycle stinger. There it is. The final songs of the damned. All right, so now we can play the blood celebrant. Blue mana. Let's exploit it and get back songs, cast songs, reaping the graves, returning everyone. This is only game one and I've used, I'm down 10 minutes already. I should probably speed this up a little bit. Okay. Sorry, I don't know if it's me tonight or if the matches are just going along, but this one does feel like it's on me because it's only game one and I, I'm down to 15 minutes. Maybe I'm just off my game despite uh, being 3-0. Okay, so we can win this pretty quickly. All right, so Stinger. And then go to... Two life. I need to not accidentally kill myself here. Stinger. Then go to one life. Stinger. Okay, let's turn off auto yields. Uh, cycle. Auto yield to the ping trigger, but nothing else. Okay. Using up half my clock in game one. Not good. Not good. I will say this though. I think this deck is weak to Exum plus Stripe River Winder. Okay. So that was game number one. I'm sorry it took so long. I'll try to play a little bit faster in these post board games. All right. So we definitely want this. We want the Pyroblasts. I think I want the Exum. And the crab. So 68 cards we're at, at the moment. I mean, I just don't think having a bunch of pyroblast targets is actually good for us. Like, what if we just board out all of our pyroblast targets? Like, they're a red deck, they're siding in blast, like it's going to happen. You could take out this blood celebrant. Now we're at 63. Take out a Petal, maybe, and then, like, two Vantasaur. Let's try it out. You could also argue that, like, maybe you board out an island. 
but we do have four blue cards in our deck. All right, game two, no land, no keep, going to six. Uh, I don't know. I don't love this. I think we bought him the Pyroblast. And it's crazy to even think about boarding or bottoming the Pyroblast, but look at where we're at in the game. So I could turn one horror here. It's kind of risky. Dark Ritual. Let's cycle this Ash Barons because we can go get a Swamp. Cycle the horror. Big Zoom. All right, hope that this horror is going to be good enough. Cleansing Wildfire. Draw. Cycle the Stinger. They can't Gav Blast it yet because they need three artifacts. Get in there for six. Fyrdain. Artifact number two, draw. Sure. Draw. Riverwinder. Have to pass. Or Kaomancer. So they picked up a blocker here. And if they have Ephemerate, it's really good for them. I think I'm going to cycle this stinger here. Okay, draw. I could try to spike a Pyroblast or uh, an Ash Barons here so I can Pyroblast the Archaeomancer when they go to block, and that did not happen. Sort of a bummer. Yep, and now they ephemerate it. Yep. I wonder if it's worth it to Ritual Reaping here. Okay, so we're picking up three creatures. And then passing. Now the Ephemerate. Yeah, this is not good for me. Now they pick up the Ephemerate again. Cleansing Wildfire. And that Preordain. Tormod's Crypt. Okay, so they do have dedicated graveyard hate. I think I'm still going to cycle a stinger here. Hoping to draw a red source so I can kill the Archaeomancer. Draw. Let's get in there, I guess. Another fire ice. Um. I'm still going to try to spike a red source here so I can kill that Archaeomancer. Cycle. No dice. Okay, I passed the turn. Part of me wonders if I should just pick this up because I don't think I'm going to win this game. They have seven cards and we know that they have Ephemerate. Alright, yeah, I'm just going to go to game three. This is a waste of my time. I'm not going to play out the rest of this. So we could board in, uh, like, Dissenter's Deliverance for the Tormod script. I don't think that's the right play. I feel like that's a trap. So I'm just not going to do that. And instead, we're just going to try to, you know, do our thing. All right. Game three. We have to ship this. This is better. Uh, keep giving her the pedal. Bear more pass. Okay, we're going to grab Island. Do I want Island? Maybe we should get Mountain. Alright, pass the turn. Preordain. This looks to me like they might not have kept a hand with two lands, but we'll see. Alright, they did. Alright, so I'm going to cycle the healer. Ball Ritual, draw. Cycle the Street Wraith. Yikes. Okay, I passed the turn. Looking for creatures. 
I mean, my hand's really good. I just need to draw those creature things. Uh, I'm going to pass here. I could cycle in my main phase, but we saw Tormod script out of them. And I don't want to just, like, leave myself open to being blown out. Evoking Moldrifter. I'm going to Pyroblast this. Okay. This is potentially a window for us if I can actually draw some creatures. Draw. All right, so it's four creatures, potentially more. Let's draw. Nope. Okay, so... I think we just go for it. Cabal Ritual. I'm going to leave more black mana floating, I think. I don't really want to play out a Stinger. All right, Street Wraith into the others. Cycle this. Okay. Cycle. So how many of these are blank? We have there's one blank one in the middle. Alright, I'm gonna cycle this. It's one more um creature in the graveyard. Alright, so now cycle stinger. Okay, and now this comes back. Cycle the Baron more. Cycle Healer. Cycle Stinger. So I could, in theory, double Horror here. I'm just worried that Horror is not actually good enough against them. Alright, I'm going to cycle this. I'm going to basic land cycle, go grab an island, and then pray that we spike Reaping the Graves, I guess, is the play. Bummer. Pass. We definitely had a window to win there, and we just didn't. All right, so they're casting Cleansing Wildfire here. I mean, if we can draw Reaping the Graves, we can go off again. There's three left in the bottom 34 cards of our library. Cleric is good here. Removing our stingers, sure. And another cleric. So they're just tapping out. They're saying, hey, if you have it, you win. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't. And I drew a Baron Moore cycle. Bummer. No point in casting this exhum. Like, I think casting Exhum here is just a mistake. We do still have two Stingers left to win with. Them removing two is not the end of the world. All right, so we're going to take two from Dawnbringer Clerics, going down to 14. Ardent Elementalist, sure. So they're going to get back Ephemerate. Yep. Come on, deck. Please give me Reaping the Graves. Draw. Ah. Uh. I'm not loving your odds right now. They can just slowly start removing all of our creatures from the game. This is really unfortunate. Okay. Time is running out. We have to draw Reaping the Grave soon. Uh, we're also facing down Lethal soon. Going to 10 here. Draw. Uh. All right, so I think we're just dead. So they can attack for nine. Honestly, I feel like that was a mistake. They should have targeted the elementalist get fire and then we were just dead on board. Okay. Getting back to Ephemerate. Maybe they just don't care about burning me out. Or maybe they have a Galvanic Blast or a Lightning Bolt in hand, which is very probable. Okay, so we're taking seven down to three. Excuse me. Tried to hold that in. Didn't work. All right, so... 
Uh, round three, we're dead to Bolt or Galvanic Blast. Okay, late to dinner, sure. Just Bolt me, come on. There you go. All right, so we're now three and one. Unfortunately, my draws just never really came together in the post board games. We had nothing coming as well. All right, so match number five will be coming up in just a moment. Thanks for being here. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. The final showdown, match number five. We're on the play. I'd like to finish this uh, four and one, so let's see if we can make that happen. And this seems like a reasonable hand. We're going to keep this. Baron more and then pass the turn. Woot woot. Bogles. It's been a while since I faced this stack. Draw. I think we just cycle the horror here. We missed on our land, so we're going to cycle the Street Wraith. Okay, going down to 16, helping them out a little bit, and then pass the turn. Next turn, we might Dark Ritual in a triple cycle. Okay, so no, no pants on the Slippery Bogle quite yet. And another Utopia Sprawl. Good deal. Draw. Exhum. So I could just move to discard here and discard the Scob now that we drew Exhum. And I, I honestly don't hate that. That might be the best line. And then cycle on their end step. Okay. Tons of uh, enchantments on lands here. Ancestral Mask would be for 10. 12. And there's the mask. Uh, is it each other? It is each other, okay. So we're going to go to four here. Uh, it's time for us to make a move. We can just cycle here, it doesn't matter. All right, Ash Barons, that doesn't really help us a whole lot. So we have to draw Reaping the Graves this turn and do something meaningful. Draw. Okay, it's now or never. Threshold. Cycle this healer. Cycle stinger. We did not hit. Wow. Okay, we're just going to concede. That was a big bummer. Womp womp. So there's really a couple of approaches on what to do in this matchup. You can board in something like Gnaw to the Bone over Exhum since beating down doesn't work, but Exhum just being black regrowth for Repository Scob and a matchup where they have no removal is super valuable. So I think I'm actually just going to resubmit the same 75 and uh, not draw like I did in game number one. That's the goal here. All right, game two. Sure. Only one creature makes me nervous, but I don't know. All right, let's just go grab an island. Turn two, we can double cycle. There's uh, the Glade Cover Scout. I wonder, I think I'm probably still supposed to... Like, I could cycle the Baron more because it ties up my black mana. I'm just not sure if that's the correct decision. Commune with spirits. They now have Ancestral Mask, which is very good for them. So we're taking two here to 18. And I think that cleared up my question on if I should cycle the creatures, because now it's just yes. I should start on the island. In case I draw like a horror, I want to be able to cycle off the swamp. All right, there's a song's draw. Lotus Petal. So we're going to start by cycling the Stinger. 
Cycle Baron more. Only three creatures so far. I'm a little bit nervous. If I don't draw some creatures next turn, we're probably not going to win this game. Do they have enough to play Mask here? But this is seven. At 11. Draw. All right, this puts me to nine. So I think I'm supposed to hold the Songs of the Damned and the Repository Scob for now. Black. And that gives me Threshold so I can cast this Cabal Ritual. And this will return all four creatures. Street Wraith and then the other two. All right, Cycle Street Wraith. Cycle Horror. Cycle Riverwinder. Songs. Cycle. Keep going. Okay. Uh, there's no point on me stopping on Repository Scob because, like, it's just not going to win if I don't hit some rituals here. There we go. All right, I'm just going to return that. So can I play this? I can. All right, cycle. Street Wraith is very welcome. We go to five. Cycle the Vantasaur. Down to three. So now I can play the repository scob floating exactly one block and get back uh, the Songs of the Damned. All right, 12 mana is pretty good. Let's keep cycling before we cast this Reaping the Graves, though. Dark Ritual. Cycle Healer. Okay, so... I'm at three, which means that these Street Wraiths are not live. Like, one of them is technically live, but I would need to draw something in order to gain life here. So I think I'm going to hold off on returning the Street Wraiths, at least for now. Or if I do return them, uh, put them last. Okay, so... We have 22 mana. I'm just going to resolve all of this. It's fine. And I really don't want to cycle the Street Wraith, because if I draw into Blood Celebrant, I can play a healer. Okay... Island. Not what we needed. Another songs. Exhum. So with Exhum, I could bring a stinger back into play or a healer back into play. Uh, but we hit the ploy, which means I'm just a Lotus Petal or the uh, Blood Celebrant away from just casting that to gain a bunch of life. And I'd rather do that than put a healer into play. Just keep cycling. 23 cards left. Okay. Running out of things to cycle here. Cycle this healer. I might have to uh, put a healer into play soon if I don't draw something. Okay, another horror. Down to 16 cards. Dark Ritual. We have a ton of mana. I, I guess I'm just being stubborn by not putting the healer into play. Cycle Ash Barons. We should still have a swamp to go get. Okay, now I can cycle this Street Wraith. This puts me to three. And there's the Lotus Petal I wanted the whole time. All right, let's play the ploy. Gain a bunch of life. Wall Ritual. I suppose I could have discarded a scob there, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. I guess I should exhume a stinger into play. None of this really matters all that much. It's from 20. I'm just going to quick uh, click quickly. Like, I'm probably not going to hit everything, but honestly, it just doesn't matter. All right, everything coming back. All right, so let's cycle here. 
auto yield. Cycle three wreath again. This is going to bring us down to nine cards in library. Lotus petal. So now we can play another stinger. Cycle the horror. I don't have to worry about decking quite yet. Okay, just keep cycling. No Blood Celebrant quite yet. That card lives on the bottom of our library. Like with Blood Celebrant, it's always either opening hand or bottom of the library and never anywhere in between. Okay. Dark Ritual. Cycle the Street Wreath, I guess. This brings us down to two cards in the library. There it is. Although now it just doesn't even matter because I still have to cycle twice in order to win. What a jerk. All right, cycle this. And cycle the dino. So I'll have zero cards in library and our opponent will be dead. All right, so there's still a game three where our opponent gets to be on the play. So you might be asking yourself, Bryant, are you sure you don't want to board a knock to the bone now? I still think the answer is no. I think we just want to be the best combo deck that we can be. So, no, I don't think we want Gnaw to the Bone. This hand, pretty good. Uh, we're going to keep this. So the question becomes, do you just start cycling and not worrying about the Ash Barons? Uh, and I think the answer might be yes. Like, I think we just accept that we have Lotus Petal for our blue mana and we don't worry about Ash Barons color fixing. They're coming out of the gates. All right, so we're going to fall to 17. Another scout. Um, you know what? I am going to color fix here. I changed my mind. It happens. Deal with it. Draw. Hello, Reaping the Graves. So they have four power on the board at the moment. So, uh, forest number three. Mask, so six damage coming in, so they'll have 11 next turn. I'm sorry, they'd have to deal 11 next turn. Cycle Healer. Cycle Vantasaur. Ashburns draw. Scob. So if they play another Ancestral Mask, let's just figure this out. If they play Mask, uh, it would be, that one was plus four, so they each be plus six, so that's lethal. Um, if I cycle Street Wraith and miss, it honestly doesn't change much. I think I'm just gonna cycle. Uh, why can't I just hit a creature? We're pretty far off from Threshold too, which is a giant pain in the butt. So if I go Songs, Petal, at 6. Okay. Make Blue here. I just feel like I'm going to Fizzle. Yep. Alright, so now at least these Cabal Rituals will have Threshold. Reaping the Graves. I just needed to draw Creatures. Street Wraith. All right, cycle. Down to five. Cycle. Okay. Cycle. How many of these are empty? All of these are empty other than the um, Scob. So I can cycle the healer actually. Because that still gives me enough to uh, scob. So hypothetically, I can scob into songs. Songs would make seven mana. Or I could try to cycle healer into a ritual effect. Tough call. So I have one Cabal Ritual, four Dark Ritual, three songs. So, like six hits? No, that's not right. Eight hits? All right, I think I'm going to be a coward and take the safe play here. 
Get back the songs. And I have to cast this now. And now, obviously, I'm going to cycle into a ritual and feel like an idiot. All right. Big zoom. Wow. So now we can get back the scob for songs. That was such a good draw. Are we actually going to pull this off? Okay, so we have seven mana. We're not out of the woods yet, but it's possible. So Wraith, Wraith, that will put us to one. If they have a gut shot, we're dead, but I can't afford to play around gut shot, so why bother? Cycle. Okay, so that actually changes things a little bit. I might not want to cycle the three wreath. Okay, cycle. Cabal ritual's good. Cycle. That was the last Cabal ritual. Almost halfway through our library now. Cycle. Okay. Getting a little nervous. We are definitely running out of mana here. Yep. Okay, so I have to spike off this uh, Street Wraith. Wow, we did it. Okay, so we can't use the Blood Celebrant. Uh, and I can't... So I have to cycle this Imposing Vantasaur into a Blue Source. Oh no. We've played a land. I mean, we ripped the the songs, but uh unfortunately it was not one bus card deep. It's all up to you, Dino. Bummer. All right, let's just uh end this the old-fashioned way. Ugh. And unfortunately it was a 3 and 2. Um, the deck list. Do I think we need something for Bogles? No. Uh, but I think how we lost this match was that post where we just didn't draw creatures. Or, like, our deck sort of just didn't cooperate almost. Um, so one thing I think I would change moving forward is I think I want to start testing with no flaring pain. If people are going to stop playing Prismatic Strands, why am I still playing this card? And then I can't help but wonder if we should try playing a bug list. Because I do think Not to the Bone and Decentrist Deliverance are really good right now. But as you saw in those blue matchups, Pyroblast was fine. I'm not saying it was bad, but I don't know if we needed it. Especially now with the Mirror Shell Crab. So I'm wondering, maybe we just go straight bug. And you play Duress, which can also hit things like Tormont Script or Relic. And then you have Crab for Spell Stutter Sprite. It's just something to think about. Let me know what you think. Uh, thank you for watching. This was a long, long video. Uh, I do appreciate it. I hope you have a terrific day. Keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.